this is Shannon with Dog with Crochet, and today I'm going to show you how to crochet these puffy ornaments. So to get started, you're just going to need a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook and some medium worsted weight yarn. I'm using Mary Maxim Starlet Sparkle, and this is the color white gold. And then for this one, this was the color ruby, and this was the color emerald. And then you will also need a yarn needle to weave in your ends. And then just a scrap piece of twine or jute or yarn or whatever you want to use to hang it from your tree. So this is about six inches long or so. So to get started, we're going to make a magic circle. So I'm going to wrap my yarn tail around my index finger three times. I'm going to place my hook under all three and then I'm going to pull the last one under the other two. Then we're going to chain one. And then we're going to place six single crochet into the circle. and six. So now we're going to pull the circle closed. So I'm going to start pulling on this yarn tail until one of these pieces starts tightening. Then I'm going to find the one that was tightening and pull on that one to close the circle. And then I can pull on my yarn tail to get rid of that other loop. All right, so we should have six stitches and we are just going to slip stitch into that first stitch. All right, so we're just going to slip stitch into that first stitch. So that's the end of round one now. So now for round two, we are going to pull up a long loop and then we are going to do a puff stitch into each of the six stitches. So to do a puff stitch, we're going to yarn over and insert our hook into the first stitch or the one that we just slip stitched into. And then we're going to yarn over and pull up a loop. So we'll have three loops on the hook. Yarn over, insert our hook into that same stitch and yarn over, pull up a loop. Five loops on the hook and then yarn over and insert our hook into the same stitch one more time, yarn over, pull up a loop. Now we have seven loops on the hook, yarn over and pull through all seven loops. And then chain one to close the puff. So we just do one puff in each of these six stitches around. And it's definitely important to kind of keep your tension pretty loose on these puff stitches. When you pull those loops up, you want to kind of pull them to make sure that they're all in line so that it's easier to pull through like that. You'll find that if your tension is too tight, it's very, very difficult to pull through all of those loops at the end of the stitch. So definitely, um, try to keep your tension as loose as possible. And then chain one to close that puff. So just one more time, I'll walk you through it. Yarn over, insert our hook into this stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, three loops on the hook, yarn over, insert our hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, five loops on the hook, and then yarn over, insert our hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, seven loops on the hook, and yarn over and pull through all seven loops, and then chain one. So at the end of this round, which is round two, we should have six puff stitches. All right, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six. 
So now we're going to get our hook and slip stitch into this first, uh, the loop that we pulled up at the beginning of the round. And now what we're going to do is we're going to work two puff stitches into each chain space. So once again, I'm going to pull up a long loop and then I'm going to work a puff stitch into this first chain space right here between these two puff stitches. So that was my first puff, and then I'm going to do one more into that same chain space. So now we have two puff stitches in that chain space. And we just continue that all the way around. So now this next chain space, I will work two puff stitches. And we just continue that all the way around until the end of round three. We should have 12 puff stitches at the end of round three. So I will just keep working on round three and then I will come back for round four. Okay, so I have one chain space left to work into right here. So the reason that I know that, you could use a stitch marker or you can count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. So we have 10 puff stitches. So we know that there must be one chain space left and we need to do two more puffs into that chain space. So I'm just going to work my last two puff stitches. and then close it out with a chain one. So now we have round three is done. And then we're just going to once again, slip stitch into this loop that we pulled up from the beginning of the round. And then we're going to chain one. So for round four now, we are going to work the zigzag border around here. So to do the zigzag border, all it consists of is a slip stitch and a chain one all in the same stitch. So we just chain one at the beginning and now we're going to slip stitch into this space. And then we're going to chain one and then we're going to slip stitch into the next stitch chain one, slip stitch into the next chain space, and so on. So chain one, slip stitch into the top of the next puff stitch, chain one, slip stitch into the next chain space. So we just continue this zigzag stitch all around the border of this round. All right, so I just did my last zigzag stitch, and then I'm just going to slip stitch to the first zigzag stitch of the round. And then we are ready to fasten off. And then I will just use my yarn needle to weave in my ends. Alrighty, and now that my ends are woven in, I like to just secure them to each other at the back and just tie a knot. And then we can snip off the excess. Oops. 
And now, all that's left to do is to add our little ornament hanger. So I'm going to get my twine and thread it through the yarn needle. And now I'm going to find the top of my ornament and I'm going to go from back to front. And then I'm going to move over one more and go front to back. And then I'm going to pull this shorter tail out and then just take the twine off of my yarn needle. So now we should have our two tails looking like this. And I like to just even them out and hold them together. Tie them in a knot around my middle finger. And then it creates that loop. And that's it. So that's how to crochet this puffy ornament. The dimensions for these ornaments are, this one looks like it's about 2.75 diameter. This one is also 2.75 ish. The green one's a little bit bigger. It's three inches in diameter. I think maybe that yarn might be just a little bit thicker than the white and red. So I'm not really sure what, what's going on with that. I crocheted them all on the same day and I think my tension's pretty much the same, but um, the size shouldn't matter too much since they're just little ornaments, but, um, that's just to give you an idea for how big they will be. Um, but otherwise, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and the full written pattern is available on Etsy. I'll link that in the description box and please like and subscribe if you did like this video and Merry Christmas.